Well, that was unexpected is pretty much the term that describes every announcement Chase Elliott has made since winning this year's NASCAR championship, as Mr. Clyde himself dropped this bomb on Twitter last night that he will be competing in the 2021 Chili Bowl driving for Chase Briscoe with sponsorship from Dia Edge, which is a brand of tools from Mitsubishi Materials. This comes after Chase has already announced other off-season plans like the Snowball Derby and the Rolex 24. This will be Chase's first ever Chili Bowl appearance and he will likely be joined by his other Hendrick Motorsports teammates Alex Bowman and defending Chili Bowl champion Kyle Larson. Speaking of Hendrick drivers, Kyle Larson has also shown off his car he'll be driving to defend his Chili Bowl crown this year, once again driving for himself, featuring sponsorship from MAV TV of all things. What's really interesting to me about this deal is when you see Kyle Larson saying that he will still be able to race dirt while racing for Hendrick in 2021, and then you see Alex Bowman is starting a sprint car team with CJ Leary, it makes you wonder if Chase and the rest of his drivers doing more racing outside of NASCAR is a product of Mr. H loosening his restrictions on his drivers now that A, Chase won a title, and B, Kyle Larson has joined the team. Also, this actually isn't the first time Chase has raced dirt. He actually won a crate late model race at Tri-County Raceway back in 2013. And to get ready for the Chili Bowl, Chase will be competing in a midget race at Millbridge Raceway, which is putting together a midget race that, with a similar format to the Chili Bowl to get ready. Some other NASCAR drivers I would expect to compete unless we get another surprise announcement include Kyle Larson, Christopher Bell, Ryan Newman, Ricky Stenhouse Jr., Chase Briscoe, and Justin Allgaier. Chase won't be competing in too bad of a car either. Chase Briscoe, albeit having more dirt experience, did make it to 8th in the B main last year, just missing a transfer spot to the 55 lap A main event. If the stats continue, Chase is doing this at the right time as NASCAR drivers have won the Chili Bowl the last four years straight. I don't think that means Chase will win this year, but I wish him the best of luck. As well as Clyde announcing his ride, we've already had some other interesting announcements such as Casey Kane's return to the Chili Bowl for Matt Wood Racing. Being a part of MWR's seven car lineup, which also includes big names like Shane Golubic, Kevin Thomas Jr. and Zeb Wise. Casey's most recent A-Main Chili Bowl experience was in 2016 and he had a best finish of 6th back in 2002. He definitely has the talent behind the wheel of a midget to get the job done, but only time will tell if he can still wheel it into the A-Main. With the Chili Bowl just being a little over a month away now, I recommend that you go down and subscribe to my channel for full coverage of the race and for in-depth coverage a week later at the grounds at Daytona for the Rolex 24. Thank you guys for watching, this has been Racing Nation TV and I will see you in the the next one.